This video is going to cover the trim and extend commands. They're both linked together because they're actually interchangeable. You can, from within trim, you can use, use extend. From extend, you can use trim. And they're on the same button just with a fly out to pick between the two. So we're going to start with trim. <clears throat> and what trim does is it lets you cut something off in another piece. And so it's going to tell us some settings. And so right now, the edge mode, this is kind of the main setting we're going to look at, is set to extend. And we'll go over that in just a minute. Um, but what it's asking us is here, it's asking us to select cutting edges. So that's where do we want something to stop at. So let's say I want this line to stop at this line. I only want to keep this part of it. So this is my cutting edge. I'm going to press enter. And now it says select objects to trim or shift select to extend. See that's where you can use them interchangeably. So I want to trim this part. I want this to go away. Okay. So I'm going to get out of that. So I'm going to do it again. The short the, the shortcut alias is TR. So this time I want to pick everything as a cutting edge. And I'm going to press enter. And so I'm going to trim that off. I'm going to make this into a little triangle. And see if I click here, it trimmed that off. Because that, that edge was set to extend. So it's extending this edge all the way through there. And I could pick there. If that edge mode was turned off, it wouldn't let me use those trims. Now I'm going to shift and pick on these and go right into using extend. So you see I can switch back and forth. And if I was an extend, I could do the same thing. So if I had a line, I'm just going to show you this one. So I'm going to trim again. Now I'm going to turn. I'm going to just pick everything as a cutting edge. And I'm going to go to edge. So I'm going to go to E for edge. And I'm going to say no extend. And watch what happens. Now I can't trim this line at all because it, it doesn't intersect anything. If I go back to edge mode and say extend, now I can use that edge there to trim it. And I could use that edge there to trim it. But this piece I can't do anything with because it's not crossing another cutting edge. So that's one to watch out for when you're using the edge mode. A lot of times you want to leave it off and just use things that it actually touches. Because if you've got a lot of things on drawing and you have it on, things will, it'll just keep stopping wherever it hits something else. So watch out for that edge mode. I usually like to leave it on no extend. Um, so that's trim and extend um, kind of in a nutshell. So let's just see the extend just by itself. So if I go here, go to extend, <clears throat> same thing, pick my boundary edges, same thing as the cutting edges, just where do I want it to stop, enter, pick the things I want to extend, enter. So kind of the same thing. So that's it. And trim and extend is one I use in every single drawing. I use it all the time. 